here at this intellectual competition. These students will demonstrate who are the best of the best. Troy? Yes. Clayton? Here. Tyler? Here. Lauren? Here. Adam? Here. Mason? Here. Addie? Here. Kai? Here. When you look at the future of the world and who the future leaders will be, it all starts in the classroom. And it all starts with what are these students learning to make a difference in the world. This is actually the 17th year of the Microsoft Office Specialist World Championship. And about six years ago, we started the Microsoft US National Championship. These students will participate in a variety of live testing, demonstrating their skills in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. It's Word, right? Everybody's doing Word? Yeah. All right, when I give you the letter, you give it back to me. Ready? Give me a W. W. Give me an O. R. Give me an R. R. Give me D. D. What is the spell? And we will select six that will represent the United States in the World Championship where they will compete against the national champions from different countries. This is where the best students come to compete. And so it's not just how do you bold or how do you make this look pretty. It's very real life situations and scenarios that they have to recreate for us. Go ahead and take the seat. It should look exactly like your name where you're sitting. Honestly, as soon as I like enter the testing room, I just forget about everything and just focus on the test. It's paper-based, so they'll look at a piece of paper, they'll have a reference image, they'll have some instructions, and they have to recreate that digitally on the machines, and they have 50 minutes to do it in. So go ahead and hit start exam, everybody, before you try to open the manila folders, and then open the manila folders, and good luck. In Microsoft Word, it could be a resume, or it could be a pamphlet that they have to design. In PowerPoint, it could be something like a sales presentation. With the Excel exam, it might be something for the weekly operating report of a small business. So at the end of that, then we have a scoring procedure in the back end that looks at what they've done. So the winners are based on who has the most points. And then in the event of a tie, we look at how long it took them. When I was a freshman, I didn't know what I was good at. This competition really, like, you know, boost, boosted my confidence and, like, self-esteem. I think it's, it, this applies to, like, many other students as well. Oh, my gosh. It makes, it warms my heart. It, it just, that's what it's all about, is just seeing students that are motivated about something beyond just the grade that's on their transcript. How would I describe myself as a student? I wouldn't say I'm the best student. I give my teachers a lot to handle. So I get tardies. Sometimes I just don't show up to school because I don't want to show up to school. Cameron's actually pretty smart uh, when he wants to be. He's going to give you nothing more than he needs to to get by. And then when you make him feel like he couldn't do any better, well, then he shows up to the occasion and shows you what he really can do. Take one, pass it around. Take one, pass it down. When I think of the average Moss competitor, I don't think of a person like me. Nobody in my school or anybody that I hang out with thought I would have been here. They all tilt their head and like, you? You won that?
My brother's the one who first got me into piano. I started taking lessons and getting good at it, and now I play it a lot. His brother will place into those competition, but he doesn't. And he was just there sitting with, sitting us. with us as an audience. He was kind of and, and upset. He, he was kind of upset. It's like, I should be in the stage. He's enormously talented uh, in so many different ways. Kevin is, is a smart little boy, but he's very linear. He loves math. He thinks really well with numbers, which is why he's doing math competitions. In second place, with a score of 140 from Dunbar, Kevin DeBecoulagan. And he's doing piano pieces that are like so rhythmic and have all these different polyrhythms going on. He, he loves data, and so Microsoft Excel is a good match for him. Some people say that Excel is the hardest out of the three choices for PowerPoint and Excel. I just think that means less competitors. I don't know if you've ever taken an Excel expert test, you know, they are pretty uh, robust. And so to have uh, a freshman get perfect on Excel expert, I knew that I'd chosen the right student to try for the world competition. One thing I know about Jesse is when he sets himself to do something, if he really wants to do something, he will go for it and do it, and do it well. Like for instance, if he says, I want to be a Microsoft Word champion, then he will see what he needs to do to get there. My swimming mentality kind of transfers over to other things, and it's also made me more competitive, which makes me want to do better at everything I do, so. Yeah. Take your mark. He's a quick study. That is, that is really a strength he has. No matter what it is that you're trying to to really expose to him to, he just he just grabs it rather quickly. The sport draws people who are academic types and also high achievers. So the work ethic and time management that they learn from swimming is something that translates into their academic side as well. Jesse's personality is a very kind and, and giving young man. He's a great teammate. He's a good racer and he likes winning, which is important. And then Ms. Wagner said you might want to go over male merch or do you feel okay? Um, so. Yeah, maybe, because that's still the thing that I'm least confident about. Okay. One day, Jesse just appeared in my room, and so I asked him if he was there to compete, um, and he said he was. I took a course from Microsoft Excel and Access, and that inspired me to certify in Microsoft Word. If you know anything about our school, it's a very competitive school, academically and athletically. We're just one of the top public schools in the state of North Carolina, and that's reflected in the motivation that our students have to succeed. I had Lynn in my class. She was in the Microsoft Office Specialist class, and she excelled. She had taken all of the Office 2013, and we were running a pilot of Office 2016, and she certified in all those programs as well. And at the end of the year, she walked up and said, Mrs. Eckelman, next year, I want to go for competition. At the beginning, I chose work 2016 to join into the competition, but um, seeing English is not my first language, so I think um, my typing is not too fast, so it affects my time. So I trained to PowerPoint 2016 to join into the competition. If you uh, got two right and one wrong. For a world competition, Lynn's going to bring the advantage of speaking multiple languages. She speaks Vietnamese and English. And I think 
When she's looking at written directions, she has the ability to really dissect it, and that'll have a huge advantage into better understanding what the task is to perform on the task. As a teacher, this is probably a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be able to have students competing at the Microsoft Office Specialist at U.S. Nationals. You know, it's just a fun moment in time. When they hold it on the board, I linked with Washington, and oh my God, she got it, you got it. I feel so glad, so happy, so proud, and so excited. <laughs> I believe in her, I believe, yeah. You're sitting in a chair waiting to hear, did I win or did I not win? Oh my God, I didn't win. Well, I gave it my best effort. I was very nervous as they were calling the names. Nobody else had gotten called from Green Hope yet. I was like, oh man, if none of these people did, maybe I didn't. I was there at the uh, national uh, championship and I was so excited to be amongst Kevin's family. They started announcing, you know, winners, right? Excel 2016. So they announced me as first place and I'm in a little bit of shock at first. I was just yelling, that's my boy, over and over again, that's my boy. We were surprised, happy <laughs> that he got the first place. And then they called off my name, and I was like, oh my goodness. I was kind of in shock at first, and then, yeah, it was great. And then they called my name. I feel so lucky and more proud of myself because we won the um, only woman for winner for uh, the competition. And I think like it's have inspiration for the woman who want to join into the competition like this. When he won, we were so, so happy. We were not there because uh, my husband has been battling cancer. So, uh, you know, we had to support him at, at that time. But we were so happy to get the news, yeah. Definitely excited, it made my day. I think I was finishing a round of chemo mm -hmm. and he, he called, he called it around 10. He said, dad, dad, guess what, I won. <laughs> and I was like, wow, that is so impressive. You raise your children and you hope that they get little glimmers of things like this in their life. We'll talk about it forever, we really will. I mean, to watch your child, get to that point, very emotional. I love my dad. My dad's the best thing in my life. He's been my base support through all of this. He's making sure I study, has the best intentions for me, which is the best thing I can ask for. All right, y'all ready? Yes, we are. All right, let's do this. Zeus, please don't eat 1110. Happy Saturday, America. You're listening to Let's Talk Cars Radio on WKQA Freedom 1110. I'm your host, Dave Pillotch, hanging out with Rock and Larry Cobb. And of course, Cameron's doing all of our technical work behind the scenes for us. What's going on, guys? No car show today. No so we have the radio show. It's called Let's Talk Cars Radio. Cam pretty much is the behind the scene guy that makes everything work. At the radio station, I manage their live broadcasts, their Facebook Live, their Facebook page, their YouTube page. As far as being funnier on air, me or Cam, I would say that I'm pretty funny, <laughs> but Cam is one of those people that trips you up and is funny without realizing it. He has more jokes he just laughs himself about. I can make myself laugh any day, but I can also make everybody else laugh. Okay, I'm not gonna argue with that. Me, my sister, she like my friends, not my sister. We learn English together. We go to the same school. We support each other in every situation. So I very respect on that. With college starting, I'm very like, excited for that. So Green River College is the news atmosphere and environment for me. The college is very different than high school because the way to study is different, almost like independent study. 
She is very academically driven, very motivated. She will put in more than 100% to study. Her biggest challenge over the next two weeks in preparing for world is to just really work on her confidence. When I communicate with other people, it's hard to everyone understand me and what I say, but I feel I still believe in myself to do good at the competition because when I compete, I saw in my skills and not my language, so I'm very confident about that. As an immigrant, that was a great honor for us because we came from a, like a humble beginning and we were poor, so we want our kids to grow up better than what we, we went through. We could be two working parents, but we choose for her to be at home with the kids and guiding them. Um, and it's a lot of sacrifice. I, and I, I, told, I told the kids, it's like you might not get everything that you, that you need, like other kids would, would have, but we're always gonna be there. We are blessed to be part of his journey. My parents have been very supportive. They've been part of what's given me my drive to compete. They're near and dear to my heart. I'm really excited that I get to represent the United States in a world competition. I haven't been to any world competitions before, so it's going to be really exciting. And I, I hope I'll do well and be able to bring home the bacon. The biggest challenge I face is trying to study all the material to prepare myself for the world championship. You already thought the national test was hard. So now, how hard is the world test going to be? To be honest, it kind of freaks people out. You don't know what's going to be on the test, so you kind of have to Make sure you, you're good at everything and you know how different things affect the document. So I'm learning a lot of the word expert stuff. By the time the test is, I'll, my confidence level will be high. I know I will win this and I will make sure I try my best effort to knock all my competitors out. But he's gotten so fast at doing the practice test. I think he's just going to do what he's always done. Go in there, crush it, and then get out way quicker than anyone expected. So the vibe at the championships, it always surprises me because I've been several years and I walk in every year and I'm even more inspired by these students. And so the first day is really a reception. It's a mixer where all the students come together that evening. It's really cool to meet people from other countries and stuff and see how they also like Microsoft applications. It doesn't matter what school you go to. It doesn't matter what your background is. All these students are there to compete against each other. It's a completely level playing field. That Monday is always the testing day. And so they have a set time that they come in and test. Good luck, good luck, good luck. You've got this, you've got this. Come on. Oh man, I feel some sweaty palms. We got nervous people going on here. This is awesome. Good luck. Woo! A little nervous. Just a little bit. It'll be all right. He gave me the same answer he gave me last time. He's either got it or he doesn't, is what he said. So, we'll see. I think she feels like, a little bit nervous, but she's confident. Um, like, she knows what she's going to do right now. He's, like, less nervous than I am. He's ready for it. And he's going to do great. pretty much the same as how I feel before a big swimming. Usually I'm not nervous going up to it, and then like during the night before I have a hard time sleeping because like all of a sudden I'm nervous, and then like I just try to do my best.
spread out <laughs> because the test is so long and hard. So I hope I finished that, but I hope it's it's well because um, I don't I don't think it's gonna um, look good on my presentation and yeah. Really? I had problems when starting the test, so all of our outline was in uh, Chinese, so then they had to restart the test. That test is... The test is hard. That's what everybody said. Everybody said the test is hard. Yeah, the test was hard. Yeah. Well, we'll see how it pans out. It was so easy where we were like, yeah, I don't know how that wasn't tied to the When they said this was like, it was painted, they were joking. Yeah, they were. The test at Nationals was so... Yeah, they like, you guys got a thousand on test. I'm an expert. Yeah, expert one, like 20 minutes. I feel excited, but it's a little nervous because I don't know the result yet. So, yeah, I'm waiting for that. Good morning, I'm Sarah Salmon from India. I'm Lian Chang from Dominican Republic. Kira Sebastian Thomas from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Now, let's go and talk about who's going to take home the prizes today. Are you ready? We're going to start with the category of Word 2013. Lin Chia Yi of Chia Wan. For PowerPoint 2016, the world champion and first place winner goes to Tristan Mona of New Zealand. Nutoafong Tumela of Thailand. And now, the announcement of the world champion of Excel 2016, an exceptionally hard category. That champion is... Kevin Matthew DiMacchio of USA. I wasn't that surprised because I wasn't as confident as I was after nationals with this test. I didn't win first, second, third, but I now know where Worlds is next year, which is going to push me forward to make sure I get there again. Ladies and gentlemen, your world champions for Microsoft Office Specialists, congratulations. The rest of the U.S. team was cheering me on and being like, oh, you're going to win first place. We, we believe in you. And so that was a confidence booster. And thanks, guys. As you can tell, he was very calm and matter of fact and stately. And his principal, on the other hand, was like a raving maniac. <laughs> yeah! 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 I hope you know this will 
all gonna be like the beginning of well, this bright future.